Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there, hunters. Today is not gunner specific because the plague of Iceborne affects us all. I'm going to be going over some quick fixes for people's performance issues with Iceborne. Do note that Capcom would not approve of some of these fixes because reasons, but also it's entirely their fault. A very brief background is that the performance issues are mostly due to a new anti-cheat system Capcom has put in. Uh, long story short is that it didn't stop anything, cheats were live day one, and the performance cost of these systems is really immense, and it kind of hurts everyone. So what can you do about it? Well, there are some options. Special K is a popular pseudo mod to the system allowing the game to properly distribute CPU load rather than bottlenecking a core. It's been a highly praised mod on the Steam forum since the base game, and you could try using that. It does apparently work for Iceborne just as it had before. So I'd start there. I'll leave a link to that in the description. The next thing you can do is what I would call the real-time threat disable. Now what you can do is disable your real-time scanning in your Windows Security Center, go to the Virus and Threat Protection, then go to the Virus and Threat Protection settings, and right there you can disable real-time threat protection. This basically just stops your Windows from scanning your PC constantly while Monster Hunter World's running. It apparently doesn't mesh very well with Monster Hunter World. Yes, this does make your PC vulnerable, so use it at your own risk, but it also turns back automatically after some time, so if you just disable it for playing World, you should be okay. Now doing this drops my CPU usage from about 58% to 48% straight up instantly. It's not insignificant, and it's something you can easily do on your own. Another option is probably less favorable, called the close window option. You can trick the anti-cheat system to closing itself by simply right clicking the executable in the applications tray and clicking close. Doing so will prompt you to close without saving, but just don't click anything, leave that there, and just kind of move that box into a corner and forget it, and then you can still play the game. But the anti-cheat system is disabled because it thinks it's closing. Now this significantly decreases your CPU usage, like another 10-15% off your load easy. Now the caveat here is that the mouse cursor is always up, so you can click off screen. It's also really annoying to see that mouse cursor if you're using mouse and keyboard. However, you can freely use your controller without issue, so if you're playing on a controller, this might be the fix for you. Just move the mouse icon off the screen too, and you should be fine. This is another super easy fix, but does kind of have some limitations. Oh, also make sure your game is in full screen mode. This doesn't work in windowed mode, the controller doesn't seem to function that way, uh, but just run it in full screen and you should be good to go. A third option is the CRC disable option, which I can't really give you a link for. It's to run an executable that basically removes the CRC while you're playing, obviously disabling the cheat system, but also increases your performance significantly. You can get this from a website that's a pretty common website, and I'm not going to mention it because I don't think that's a good idea, but a good Google search will let you find it, and I will let you know that it's on page 243 of the thread. Now, I personally use this method and disabled my Windows security, and it works just fine. Now, another user had documented using this closed window option in the CRC disable and had noted that it cuts down performance costs by almost 40% and these findings were posted on the Monster Hunter World modding Discord, and then I verified them personally along with a few other users, and they don't seem to be malicious at all, so using these other options and the sketchy executable program seems to be okay. Most of the performance issues with Monster Hunter World comes from the CPU side. Rarely do I see people maxing their GPU usage, so stuff like textures, view distance, shadows, all that stuff really shouldn't be causing your problems, and you shouldn't have to tank your performance that way. Now, as for the crashes you may be experiencing, well, you should have DX12 disabled for sure. That thing is nothing but a mess. Now, you can disable that in the main title screen options. It won't be there in the in-game options. Also, OBS doesn't seem to like DX12. It shows up as a blank screen in Monster Hunter for some reason, but it works just fine under DX11. There are also some reported problems with the HD texture pack, but that's mostly speculated to be in conjunction with the DX12 issues. Now, I don't have either of these two options on because I'd rather play at higher frame rates than have some better graphics, but that's just me. Now, I know some of you booklookers out there are like, oh no, you're telling people how to cheat and blaming the anti-cheat system for these issues, and oh, we need the anti-cheats because cheaters and blah 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 blah. Well, you're wrong. Cheats were bypassed on the first day, and all this extra performance-hungry bullshit is entirely unnecessary. It's only causing harm to the games and the players, just as it has for many other games with DRM and all that bullshit. So yeah, it's all useless. 
Hopefully we get some tools to remove it permanently in the future, but for now these are some fixes you can do. So yeah, there you go. Give them a try. I personally have tried all of these and it hasn't blown up my computer or anything. And even let me put my textures back on my laptop version, so woohoo there. Uh, anyway, that's all for now. Thank you all for watching and good luck out there hunters and whatever you may be hunting.